The championship has quite the reputation for making and developing superstars and in the league right now that's no different. In today's video we're going to be talking about 15 of my favourite wonder kids currently playing in the championship. Now for context we're only going to be talking about people who are under the age of 20 and we're not going to be taking loanees into consideration here. Without any further ado, let's jump in. Kicking things off in 15th place I'm going to go with Harry Leonard in at Blackburn Rovers. Now by the time you guys are watching this he may have just turned 20 but as of recording he is still 19 really good prospect coming out of Blackburn right now he caught my eye on the opening game week of the championship season with a really well taken goal against West Brom and to be fair to Blackburn despite their flaws in some other areas they have an excellent track record when it comes to bringing through youngsters and given they're not blessed with a ton of forwards right now I think that Leonard is that guy that will make a name for himself this season at Ewood Park in 14th place I'm going for Stoke youngster Sol Sidibe very early days he's only 16 years old but Alex Neal has shown faith in the youngster by throwing him into that first team this season. He's been in and around that team throughout pre-season and has now been handed a handful of opportunities so far this season. When he made his league debut earlier in the season, he became the second youngest ever Stoke player to play for the club in the league at just 16 years old. And the fact that he's a son of a former Stoke player just makes this story even sweeter. In 13th place, I'm going to go for Watford youngster Ryan Andrews. He's 19 years old and I think that he's been one of the players to benefit fit from this reshuffle that Watford have had throughout the summer. A bit of a clear out and in that right pack position. I think he's gone ahead and made it his own so far this season. Four starts, one appearance off the bench in these opening five matches. A couple of years ago we would have said similar things about Jeremy Ngakia but Andrews has now overtaken Ngakia in the pecking order. He did have a fair few chances last season as well but now seems to be a more established starter in that side. 12th place, I'm going to go for Sheffield Wednesday's GD Gassama. Now he may be another player who has turned 20 by the time you guys are watching this video but as of recording is still a teenager and I can't have claimed to have watched that much of him he's only played I think 18 minutes for Sheffield Wednesday so far but the fact the fact that Wednesday picked him up from PSG's academy having watched some of his highlights for the French side he does look like a really exciting prospect a strong runner with the ball who's always looking to cut inside from that left hand side look and see much more of him as the season goes on in 11th place we've got Romain Essay in at Millwall another player who I want to see more of as the season goes on but his highlight of the season undoubtedly coming against Middlesbrough really composed finish on the opening game week takes the goal fantastically pings it into the top corner and it just 18 years old as well. He's already got a fair few opportunities so far. He's played 102 minutes of football. I'm just looking to see a little bit more from him. In 10th place, I've got another Millwall youngster. It's Adamo Amaku. I couldn't separate the two Millwall teenagers. Amaku, I think, maybe has that little bit more to his game than Essay, perhaps just with that natural burst of pace, which can be absolutely explosive, obviously. He was the player who set Essay up for that goal against Middlesbrough with that brilliant run down the left-hand side. Having that ability of being able to stretch away from defenders, I think, just makes him such a unique threat that I couldn't overlook him for this list. Ninth place, I've got to throw in Sunderland's Chris Riggs. Still very early days with the midfielder he's only 16 years old but the potential from this stage is absolutely scary even stretching back to last summer Newcastle were interested at one stage Manchester United have already been sniffing around the youngster who's already been compared to Jordan Henderson because of his play style I think he's a really interesting one obviously it was a brilliant moment for him to cap off that brilliant victory for Sunderland against Southampton with Rigg getting on the score sheet he scored for them in the EFL Cup earlier in the season as well against Crewe Tony Mowbray I think is a good manager to bring through these youngsters and Sunderland definitely have a star on their hands in rig. Eighth place I'm going for Preston North End's Kian Best. Now as a North End fan I've been lucky enough to see Best up close and personal so far this season and the early signs are hugely promising. He's only just turned 18. He's got an absolute wand of a left foot and that's probably the most impressive thing about Best. His, his attacking intent. His games in the North End first team have probably been really topped off by that assist again Sheffield Wednesday but he's unfortunate not to have a couple more assists to his name I think. Really impressive performance against Salford in the EFL Cup where he's very unlucky not to have got an assist and there are definitely still some areas where he can brush up on defensively there have been a few moments where he you know can get caught out and towards the end of matches does fade a little bit but overall from a teenager his age really impressive especially considering the circumstances that you know best had to step up this season because Robbie Brady's been out injured we no longer have Alvaro Fernandez. I think the teenager's got a really bright future and definitely a worthy inclusion on this list. In seventh place, we've got Birmingham youngster Jordan James, who I'm such a big fan of. What's probably most impressive about James is 
by the age. In seventh place, we've got Birmingham youngster Jordan James, such a big fan of the Welsh international, already been capped four times by his nation. And what's probably most impressive is he's already racked up 65 senior appearances by the time he's turned 19. Albeit most of those appearances for Birmingham have come from the bench. But even so, I think Blues fans recognise the talent they have on their hands. The midfielder had a really good performance against Latvia for Wales on this most recent international break by all accounts. And definitely looks to be another star. And definitely looks to be another gem that Blues have produced. In its sixth place, I've gone for Southampton youngster Shea Charles. Now it's quite a small sample size of matches that we're judging Charles by. And what I found absolutely fascinating about the 19 year old is the fact that he's played more games on the international stage than he has at club level, which is absolutely crazy. He's already been capped 10 times by Northern Ireland, but he's only made six senior appearances for both Man City and Southampton. But the early signs are massively promising, a really good player out of possession, but you can see he's the sort of person who has come up through that Man City Academy because he's so comfortable on the ball in tight situations. He's capable of switching the play with a good long pass. No doubt that Southampton did spend a lot of money on him, but the early signs are very promising and you can definitely see the potential is obviously there. Fifth place, I'm going for Watford youngster Yasser Asprilla. So impressed with him in the sample size of matches that we've seen so far. And to be honest, I want to see him given more opportunities in this Watford side this season. Know that he did play a lot of matches last season, but the majority of them were from the bench. And he's just the sort of player that I enjoy watching. It's why I've got him so high up on this list. Creative attacking midfielder who's always looking to make things happen. Got a brilliant left foot on him. So far this season, he's got the fourth highest expected assists per 90, which shows how creative he's been for this Watford side. Very tidy player in tight situations and just makes things look so effortless as well. Um, yeah, definitely a player to watch out for as the season goes on. In fourth place, I've got Leeds youngster Archie Gray. Such a talent at just 17 years old as well. He comes from a footballing family. And once again, the sample size of senior appearances is really small, but he's been given his chance this season and the early signs are hugely promising a player who doesn't panic under pressure from the opposition really tidy on the ball and is someone who I think could thrive under Daniel Farker over this next year or two I think Leeds maybe dropping down to the championship could have been the best thing for his development so that he will get more of those first team opportunities this season but yeah just ask any Leeds fan and they'll sing the praise of Archie Gray all day long third place I've gone for Blackburn's Adam Walton definitely one of the youngsters I'm most excited about in the championship right now there was Premier League interest in the 19 year old this summer which Blackburn did quite well to rebuff in the end but he's under contract at Ewood Park until 2027 and I mean I'm absolutely sure that Blackburn are going to bank an absolutely huge profit on the player when they eventually do decide to cash in defensively and off the ball I think he's absolutely excellent for his age so far this season averaging 2.2 tackles and 1.8 interceptions per game I think he's got such a high ceiling and he'll only go on to become more of an established star for Blackburn over the course of this season with how much game time he's probably going to get. In at second spot, I'm going for Joe Bellingham. I've been really impressed by the instant impact he's had at the Stadium of Light and already just how much football he's actually gone ahead and played. I thought that the process with Bellingham might have been to slowly integrate him into this side, but Tony Mowbray's thrown him straight in. And a lot of the matches that I've seen from Sunderland so far this season, Bellingham has been the main focal point in a lot of these attacks, sort of playing as that number 10, almost as a second striker at times, looking to get into the box and pass the last man of Obviously, the brace he scored against Rotherham being the highlight of his season so far, but really clever player. And, you know, there are always going to be those comparisons there because of how his brother's absolutely smashing things for England and Real Madrid right now. But Sunderland have definitely got a top talent on their hands in Bellingham. But coming in to claim top spot, I'm going for Wilfred Nonto. He's 19 years old. There was a reason why Leeds were holding out for so much money for the youngster this summer. And they did have a bit of a dilemma with him at one stage, with Nonto going on strike, trying to force that move through to Everton. In the end, he stuck around at Ellen Road, and I mean, I think he could be absolutely fantastic for Leeds this season, obviously. Last season in the Premier League didn't quite go to plan. He was in and out of that side throughout the season, but Leeds fans then saw a glimpse of his potential. I think we're only going to get more of that in the Championship this season, even just based off his first three matches. I think he can be absolutely explosive. He's currently averaging four successful dribbles per game, and under an attacking manager like Farker, if Leeds do nail 
nail down this system, someone like Nonto could just absolutely shine to the point where Leeds, you know, may be justifiable in getting, you know, over 25, 30 million for him. But guys, there we have it. Those are 15 of the most exciting youngsters in the EFL Championship right now. Any that I've missed out on today's video, do get them in the comments down below. Which youngsters from your championship club are you personally most excited about? Other than that though, guys, that will now wrap it up for today's video. If you did go into enjoy, make sure to leave a like and do stick around and subscribe for some regular championship content. And I'll see you all in the next one.